Hello everybody and welcome to another video and today we're going to be revisiting Dimbo. Uh, now I've covered them twice before now. Uh, I looked at a track called Child Abuse and a track called a Rape Culture. Uh, and now as you can tell by the titles of those tracks, you know, this band covers some pretty heavy topics. Uh, and today uh, I'm going to be looking at a track called Back Home. Now the band contacted me a little while ago and asked me to uh, maybe give this track a look and I've had several other people people also ask me to have a look at this track so that's what we're going to do today um as i said <clears throat> this uh, is going to be again uh, covering a, another heavy subject which i believe is talking about the lgbtq community and child prostitution um so if you think this might in any way negatively affect you it might upset or distress some of you um feel free to uh, click away if uh, you don't know if you'll be able to um, you know uh, get along with the uh, track uh, I have the lyrics here which I'm hoping are going to be accurate um, so yeah I'm expecting another pretty uh, hard-hitting track here uh, so we'll jump straight into it and see what we've got so this is Back Home by Dimbo let's have a look Of darkness, 
Well, there you go. Back home by Dimbo. Um, <clears throat> this is actually lyrically and in the video is possibly one of the less disturbing um, uh, tracks, uh, but it still has a has the impact to it because every the the video sort of suggests everything. It doesn't like implicitly show what's happening but you know the suggestion is there like the people going into the back room on belt in their um uh, trousers and the like and obviously all these sort of women standing there sort of trying to lure people in and stuff like that and at one point looking like a, a parent sold her child uh you know possibly through like struggling with them and stuff like that and you know they had to find some way to get money to survive and they've had to resort to that uh, which is quite disturbing um well like i said uh lyrically it's one of the less less aggressive um messages i mean it's, it's still getting a message across but it's not as explicit uh in its execution as previous tracks has been like rape culture and the child abuse video um so yeah um now the video did have subtitles uh, giving the lyrics throughout uh, but we'll still go with them anyway um the path i chose was but my own i never thought i'd be afraid of who i am today i need a place to feel secure i need a home where i can go i'm tired of walking this path alone i got to find my way back home um you know i never thought that i would be afraid of who i am today so you know i don't like what i've become i don't like who i am you know i've been forced to do things or you know people have made me hate myself because they don't necessarily agree with who i am like like people from the lgbtq community you know parents that sort of disown their kids because they come out as gay non-binary whatever you know th they're made to feel hated so they end up hating themselves um sort of thing you know i need a place to feel secure a home where i can go you know i i need to find a place where i can i can feel like a don't i don't want to say normal person but you know what i mean you know i want to go to a place where i feel accepted and loved i don't want to have all this sort of conflict around me of people telling me how horrible i am that i'm a freak or whatever you know i, I need to find a, a place of comfort a, a, a place of safety um uh, those days of darkness are always going to haunt my memories were a prison my body is a curse i couldn't escape from what hurts me the most so days of darkness are always going to haunt you know everything i've been put through everything these people have forced upon me whether it be like prostitution or you know um being judged hated um can't think of the word discriminated against because you know maybe they're they're gay or whatever you know they're always going to be they're always going to follow you around you know no matter how happy you might end up that's always going to be there because well i mean that sort of shaped who you have become and it's something that's been so violently excuse me forced upon you you know it's, it's not something that's ever going to go away it says my memories were a prison and my body is a curse so again you know all of these memories are so that they trap you they sort of, you know it like i said they're always going to be there and it's always going to maybe sort of hold you back and it's always going to maybe stop you from moving forward finding happiness or doing what you want to do because you've been made to feel you're not good enough um you know my body is a curse you know these people are hating themselves because they've been well they've been forced to hate themselves by the people who hate them for who they are so you know it's a, it's a self perpetuating thing you know these people hate you so you end up hating yourself you know <sighs> uh, i couldn't escape from what hurts me the most you know because like i said these things follow you around and all of this hatred from people all of these negative things people have put upon you constantly follow you around and you can't get away from it 
I need to find my way back home. I cannot walk this long road alone. I need to. I needed to go home. I need to find my way back home. I'm tired of walking this long, wicked road. You know, I can't walk this road alone. You know, I need help. I need someone that actually cares for me, someone that will support me, someone who will love me for who I am, whether it be a parent, a friend, or a partner. You know, I, I need help. You know, because I'm struggling as it is because, you know, I've been made to hate myself. I've been hate, made to resent myself. I've been forced to do things I don't want to do. Um, I know I'm trapped. I've lost control. I'm used to doing what I've been told. I want the freedom to live as I choose. I'm fighting for my rights alone. I give myself. I give my all. I'll suffer. You don't take my soul. I'm tired of walking this path alone. I got to find my way back home. So again, you know, I want the freedom to live as I choose. You know, I don't want to have rules forced upon me, you know. If, if if I'm gay or whatever, I have the right to be whoever I am. No one has the right to dictate how I live my life. You know, I. this is who I am. You know, or, you know, being forced into child prostitution. They don't want to do this. They want to, they want to be a child. They want to have a childhood. You know, they don't want to be forced to do these things. But unfortunately, it's something that happens a lot. And it's something that really needs to stop. Um, you know, I'm fighting for my rights alone. You know, even though in the world there are many of these uh, people, like in the LGBTQ community, you know, they're made to feel alone. You know, they're ostracized, they're cast out by friends and family, whatever. And, you know, they're made to feel worthless. So they feel like they're doing this by themselves when when you know there are uh, there are other people out there suffering such as they are and each one of them feels like they're struggling alone because you know they're made to hate themselves they're made to feel like an outcast that nobody will ever love them or care for them i give myself i give my all i'll suffer you don't take my soul so you can you can say or do whatever you want to me but you're not going to take away from me who i am no matter how hard you try i'm tired of walking this path alone i've got to find my way back home and so it goes again those days of darkness are always going to haunt my memories were a prison my body is a curse i couldn't escape from what hurts me the most i cannot take this fight anymore i need to find my way back home then he shouts, Threat. I'm not sure what that means, but... Uh, my body's at war, cries in vain. They don't accept me in this form. Justice, freedom, rights. I'll fight them on my own. Fight them on, uh, on my own to live as I choose. Fight them on my own to live as I choose. I need to find my way back home. I cannot walk this long road alone. I need to. I needed to go home. I need to find my way back home. I am tired of walking this long, wicked road. These days of darkness are all but gone. My memories were a prison. My body's not a curse. Today I need to find my way back, my way back home. So in those last few words, it says, those days of darkness are all but gone. My memories were a prison. My body's not a curse. So this is someone who's finally finally come to terms with what's happened they're finally sort of you know they're, they're letting go because they've found someone that cares about them because you know they've maybe found their way back home metaphorically speaking you know they've found a safe space and so now they can move on with their life you know they no longer hate or resent themselves maybe they might still but not as much as they did before when they felt alone and you know isolated and like discriminated and ostracized um so yeah i mean it's a powerful song with a powerful meaning like i said it's not quite as not quite as aggressive and disturbing as like i said the previous tracks but again they are pointing out important topics that need to be addressed and need you know something needs to be done about them you know because like i said uh, child prostitution is a is a thing that still happens in many many countries all over the world and a lot of people just seem to go well it's not my problem it's not happening in my country i don't need to worry about it but that's not the point you know 
if nothing gets done, it's just going to carry on. More children are going to suffer. And again, with LGBTQ rights, there are some countries where it's illegal to be gay, lesbian, non-binary, what have you. And there is so much hatred against these people for some obscure... I'll, I'll never understand it. I'll never understand why people have such a problem with it. You know? And, you know, anybody... Everybody has the right to live the life the way they choose, as long as they're not doing anything that's actually illegal. They should be able to live however they want. They should be able to do whatever they want. You know? It's not up to you to decide how somebody else lives their life. You know, you can't turn around and say, no, you, you're you not gay. You cannot be gay. You're not allowed to be gay. It's wrong. You know, it's not. Love is love, no matter who you are. You know, if you're a man who loves another man, that's fine. You should be allowed to. If you're a woman that loves another woman, that's fine. You should be allowed to. It's not breaking any laws. Love is love regardless you know and you can sit there and you can spit out bible verses you can you could argue with me until you're blue in the face and giving me reasons why this shouldn't be allowed to happen and you i'll just be like no i just i can't reach you you know i don't understand you why is this bothering you so much it doesn't affect your life in any way You know, it's like, there, there are people that get really furiously angry when, for example, Elliot Page, you know, she used to be, I can't remember what her name used to be, but we'll not go there, because it's not nice to dead name people. Um, but people absolutely, abjectly refuse to recognise their right to be who they are. It's not up to you to dictate who they are, what gender they are, or how they live their life. Why are you getting so angry over that fact? You know, it, like I say, it doesn't affect your life in any way whatsoever. You know, it, it, why do you get so angry about it? You know, and... Like I said, there's these people that are that spit out Bible verses saying why this is wrong. If you actually read these things, you realise how discriminatory they really are. How hypocritical they really are. So, you know, you've got no valid excuse. If you don't like it, you know, if it makes you uncomfortable. Well, first of all, I can't see why, but... You know, that's that's fine. You know, if it, if it bothers you, that's fine. But there's no need to be so violent and aggressive about it. There's no need to bully and attack people just because they don't fit into what you deem to be the societal norm. It's not up to you to dictate those sorts of things. But these, again, these are things that need to be addressed and something needs to be done. You know, people going, oh, they never used to have this back when I was X, Y, Z years old. Yes, they did. It did exist. It's just more people are talking about it now. Because, you know, we're in the year 2022. You know, we should be able to, to live like this. You know, we should be able to survive like this. You know, there's no reason for all this hatred, discrimination and violence just because people don't live up to what you think is normal. But yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah see, I mean, this is a topic that I do feel very strongly about. And, and like with previous tracks, you know, they've brought up some very important topics and some very important subjects that need addressing and, you know, need, you know, need to be rectified. You know, it's not up to you to dictate how someone lives their life. It's not up to you to use and abuse someone just because you think they're beneath you. And, I mean, it's like this whole... Um, abortion rights thing in america who's writing these laws white men white 
men are dictating what women are allowed to do with their bodies. Now, if, for example, the government turned around and said all men should have mandatory vasectomies to prevent unplanned pregnancies, there would be hell, there would be uproar, and the men would be going, you can't tell me what I can and cannot do with my body. So why is it okay for you to tell women what they can do with their body? It's not up to you. And you can quote, again, you can spit out religious bullshit at me all you want. It is not a justification. You know, those things are outdated. I mean, th that thing says that, you know, women don't deserve any rights whatsoever. It says that if a woman is raped and is made pregnant by rape, she should marry her rapist. You know, these things are outdated. And again, those books are written by bigoted, sexist, abusive people. Those books are just created to mind control people into doing what those people at the time, several hundreds of years ago, thought was the right way to live. But that doesn't work anymore. You can't pick and choose. Because half of the things in that book... I can guarantee that the people who worship that book do half the things you're told not to, but they won't ever admit up to that. As you can tell, this is quite a sore subject for me. Because <laughs> I, I hate this sort of thing, you know, where, where people have to enforce their beliefs onto everybody else because they believe they are right. I hate it. It needs to stop. I mean, if you don't like it, fine. Just don't be a dick about it. Anyway, I could go on for hours and hours and hours about this, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to leave that as it is. You know, another good piece of music, very heavy, with another very strong and very powerful message therein. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there before I go on for another like 30 40 minutes about things that piss me off about these people um so i'm gonna leave it there um so if you like the video please uh, drop it a like and consider subscribing if you're not um yeah thank you all very very much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye bye My